Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, be so kind, support the channel if you like our content. Uh, all it takes is one second out of your time to click the like button, uh, share, subscribe, and again, hopefully I will continue to um, yeah, give you a kind of a, a, a different perspective on a day-to-day -day, uh, unbiased approach. So uh, market continues to be good. There's no you know really breaking news there. There's no reason to sit there for five, 10 minutes to talk about uh, how the good the market is. We know the market's good. The market is, is up pretty much uh, on a consecutive basis. Ever since we reclaimed back the 50-day moving average, that it was a clear buy signal again over the 50 days bullish, below the 50 days bearish. And now we're just seeing rotation. That's all it is. It's rotation. Uh, semiconductors are are leading the move up. Uh, you have uh, the United cloud names, uh, very, very strong uh, last week. Uh, and, you know, the leaders, the leaders are, are moving higher, then they're resting, then they're moving higher, and then they're resting. And if you look at the final scoreboard, it, it feels like a kind of a broken record. The Dow up another 200 points, S&P up another 44 points, and the NASDAQ up 160 points. Just absolutely phenomenal market. And the key is, again, stop, don't, again, do not chase the ones that are up 20, 30 days in a row. Wait, you know, look at the ones that are coming off the bottom. We, you know, we, I've been trying to uh, give you guys a lot of really good setups here in the last couple of weeks that are coming off the bottom. They get bottom range, uh, if it fails, you're not going to get hit. That's the whole point. I mean, look at the move uh, off the bottom range of snow, right? Look at the move on Micron. You know, Micron, just phenomenal. Phenomenal three-day move, uh, you know, closed uh, above uh, 108 today. I, you know, I'm down to a tiny, tiny runner. I'd love to see... Uh, this thing start filling in the gap to 113, but that's that's the point. Go to the bottom ranges. Uh, this morning, uh, you had a name like Qualcomm uh, getting above the whole bottom range here, and now it has more upside to go. So that's the key. I mean, that's the key, right? That's kind of the common denominator, uh, especially in the semiconductor group. You want to kind of focus on them because even the ones that are resting, money flow is coming uh, into other names, and that's kind of been the kind of regurgitating theme. Uh, over the last, you know, two months, uh, you know, money comes out of one, it goes into another. The option flow comes, they start buying deep out of the money calls, short-term expiration, and the stock goes uh, absolutely bananas a day or two uh, days later. And when you look at NVIDIA, who's been, again, arguably one of the greatest stories uh, over the last five years or so, uh, it closed today topping a 3.4 million, excuse me, 3.4 trillion dollar market cap um they were foregoing the 140 calls today the weeklies they were going for the 145s 150s uh we saw some short-term 160 calls uh being traded I, I know it feels like euphoria the constant push every single day and everybody's uh sipping the kool-aid and the rose-colored glasses and we don't look we know this is not going to last eventually uh buyers will you know Eventually, buyers will get tired the same way sellers get tired uh, at the bottom of the range. And eventually, we'll go into a distribution cycle uh, with some selling to, to boot. But the point is, that's why I'm kind of constantly reminding you guys, stick to the ones that are coming off the bottom, not the ones uh, on the top. The ones on the top look very, very sexy, right? Uh, you know, got them. I had this NVIDIA get the 140, right? 140, uh, especially testing these... Uh, uh, June uh, June highs, yeah, probably does, right? Probably does. But what happens if Nvidia got tired today, right? What happens if Nvidia gets tired tomorrow? You can easily get a pull again. That's the stock that broke out above 120. You're not buying it at 140 if the stock broke out at 120 uh, only two weeks ago. So you have to be very, very, uh, you know, very careful. However, that group is going absolutely nuts, and I'm going to give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow. That look really good. That look really, really good. Number one, uh, ARM. You guys remember ARM? We've been touting ARM for the last two days. We talked about it on the video. Hey, guys, watch these September eyes. ARM went out of its mind. You know, out of its mind. Today. Look at this thing. ARM was up $10 today. Again, this is a semiconductor group. Big move. The only reason why it stopped today, it hit the linear regression line. This linear regression line uh, gets taken tomorrow. This thing is going to you know, go higher. MU, again, has been a beautiful 
a beautiful three day run. Uh, you know, up, up about what four bucks, uh, four bucks with a tiny runner left. Again, I'd love to see this thing to thirteen. But again, beautiful, beautiful move. Uh, look at a name, for example, um, you know, like AMAT today. You know, watch AMAT for tomorrow. Uh, excuse me, A M A T. Another semi, right? A M A T. Let's try to do this again. A M A T. There we go. Right. Look at AMAT. Look at the look at the look at the massive range it took out today. Massive range. Watch AMAT for tomorrow. It's the right group. Right. The right group. The money flow is there. It's coming out of a multi-month range. Keep an eye on AMAT tomorrow. This thing starts building above today's channel. This thing's gonna wake up. Right. It looks absolutely great. Look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm. A buyer came in. A buyer came in. Uh, right around 2.30 today when the stock finally confirmed above the 177 level, he came in for the November 8th expiration for 796,000 of the 180 calls. You can see where he's betting. He's betting into the next supply of uh, 180.50. So this is the theme, folks. This is the theme. Just go through this, you know, go through the members of the semiconductors. That's the play, right? That's the play. They're right in front of you. They're not hiding. You know, they're not you know, they're not trying to, you know, to get creative. That's the group. It's the semiconductors. The ones that are coming out of the ranges are going to be the ones that are going to probably give you the biggest bang uh, for your buck. Even Apple. You guys remember we talked about Apple today, right? We talked about Apple uh, over the weekend. If you could get above this range, it was a beautiful trade this morning. Really, really nice trade this morning. This is now the highest close of the whole formation here. Uh, again, they're coming for the, you know, 230, 250s, the 235 weeklies. We saw some 240s coming in for next month. Watch this thing. This thing starts confirming today's channel tomorrow. You know, this thing could see move into the top of the range here into the 233, uh, 234. That looks really, really good. Um, look at a name, for example, like, uh, let me see what else I want to give you. Look, you know, look at a name, for example, like, oh, look at LRCX. Yeah. Look at this, thing, right? That's kind of my point. Like, look at LRCX. This is a multi-month channel. It looks exactly like AMAT. Looks exactly like uh, like um, like Qualcomm, right? Look at this multi-month channel. This thing split, right? This thing, all it needs to do is get above the su September supply. And if it does, again, it's the right group at the right time with the hot sector. This thing can maybe wake up as well. Uh, AMD had a little bit of a rest day today, but you can see where this thing needs to be ignited. Once it gets back above the five-day moving average where it got rejected back-to-back -back days, this thing's going to wake up. Uh, look at a name like Uber, for example, right? Uber had a monster, monster move inside day today. Maybe it rests for a couple of days, but watch this thing for a resumption at some point uh, in the middle of the week. This looks uh, great as well. The Bitcoin names flying. MSTR has been on an absolute amazing run had a nasty you know reversal this morning but look at look at the nasty run once it recovered the 50-day moving average on 9 13 the stock has gone from 143 to 227 that's amazing so look at coin right all day today 200 weeklies 200 weeklies 200 weeklies 210s 200 weeklies 200 weeklies 200 weeklies watch this thing Watch this thing, for, this thing for tomorrow. Bitcoin obviously is moving higher. Watch this thing for a continuation. So there's a lot of really great setups uh, coming in for tomorrow's session. Uh, again, don't fight the market. Don't try to rationalize. Well, the market doesn't make any sense. Why it's going up? Yeah, that's it. Does make sense? That's the whole point. It does make sense. You know, and stocks are in a bullish interval above the 50-day moving average. It does make sense. You don't need, again, company-specific news for a stock to go higher. When there's momentum and there's a runaway train, you're not asking what the next stop is. Just let the damn train go. And until it stops, you keep on playing the rotation game over and over again. Again, semis are hot. Why the hell are you looking for like uh, food stocks? Why are you looking for consumer cyclicals? Stick to the semis. Software is a hot, right? If a name, for example, like uh, Snow is hot, well, why are you looking at something stupid? You know, Oracle is going, NET is going, CrowdStrike is going. Stick to the themes. Uh, again, they're a tribe. One goes, they all go. And that's exactly why this market is so special because there is a massive rotation. It is complemented by order flow and institutional money flow uh, via the options market. And, and because this market is so strong, it's giving us multi-day runs on a lot of names. Speaking of a gift, right? Speaking of a gift. So we were along this SoFi. We've been talking about SoFi for a couple of days. I wake up this morning, the stock's at 9, 10, at 25% of my position coming in, right? We bought this breakout new. We bought the breakout above this 860 level uh, last week, been in it for three days, had a great move on Friday. It was up about 5% on Friday. I wake up this morning, I go, oh, it's up another dime. That's cool. 
I went to the gym, I uh, went to the sauna. By the time I got out, I got 95 e uh, text messages, uh, they, they, some sort of investment, some sort of funding, whatever the hell it was. Uh, this thing went up a dollar today, closed off the trade. I, I'm phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal move. So uh, let's talk about uh, to today's pivots. Uh, you know, here is uh, the sofa, you know, trade complete, right? Trade complete on SoFi. Here was the pivot a couple of days ago. Uh, 867 uh, needs to build. And da, 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 the stock went all the way to 10 today. Just just phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. So that made my day. We got a, we got a gap up in MU this morning. Uh, you know, got a little bit of run on the left. Literally a tiny little run. Upper ball, almost four on that. Uh, and then you started seeing names like Amazon. I really liked Amazon. Never confirmed. Uh, IONQ stopped right short of the pre-market highs, never confirmed. Uh, and then you got ARM, right? Here is ARM, 153.50, needs to confirm the pre-market highs. That will also confirm the September 26 highs of 52.38. Well, ARM went up 10 points. Just an absolutely huge move on ARM. Congratulations for you guys uh, who caught that. Uh, Apple, I caught this Apple right off the word go. Uh, 129.75 needs to confirm the whole two-week shadow that we discussed on the nightly video, went up about a dollar and change. Beautiful move there. I still like this thing. Tesla held, uh, yeah, look, let's talk about Tesla. So Tesla held Friday's lows. Well, you know, they, 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 took, they took down some stops from Friday, but it pretty much held Friday's lows. The problem with today's move is it really needed a big dead cat bounce. And it was only up a dollar and change. That's not good considering the stock was down like 15, 20 points on Friday. And guys, the longer the stock builds below the 50-day moving average, the higher probability there'll be another wave of selling. So Tesla, you need to get back above this this air, this 50-day. You see it, right? All right, guys, you need to get back above this 50-day. That's the only way you want to go long. Uh, because again, the longer it starts building, it's not resting to go higher. It's resting to go lower. So the bulls need to really get above the 50-day moving average, kind of break this a uh, stigma of selling and the bears, all they need to do is if it starts confirming Fridays or in today's lows on the robo taxi event, you can see how much room I have uh, all the way down to this 200 level. So it's going to be very, very important uh, for Tesla to, to kind of wake up in the next couple of days because if it doesn't, uh, there will be a, another pivot to the downside ahead. So that's it guys. Sometimes you got to kind of keep it short and sweet. Uh, the semis super hot. Uh, rotation, money flow, everything coming out of ranges. All you got to do, guys, is go through the semi-group. Find the ones with the biggest liquidity. Find those ranges. Watch those ranges confirm and go into them with extreme prejudice, with extreme confidence. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great, great evening. And God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.